Some traveled overnight to get to Harare in time for the anti-sanctions march organized by Zimbabwe's government. They want the removal of sanctions imposed by the European Union and United States. Many here feel they're still being punished by the West because of land reforms by former President Robert Mugabe when many white farmers had their property seized. His successor says sanctions imposed nearly two decades ago are hurting the economy. The illegal sanctions are an albatross to the development, well-being and prosperity of the people of Zimbabwe. Sanctions must go. Remove them now. The sanctions were imposed following human rights abuses and electoral fraud allegations. The punishments include travel bans and the freezing of assets of some officials in the ruling ZANU-PF party as well as the armed forces. The United States says the sanctions are targeted with 141 individuals and companies on its list. The Americans blame government corruption and failed economic policies for Zimbabwe's economic crisis. Some economists say even though sanctions are targeted, every citizen and local business is affected. Any country's risk perception is based on restrictive measures that have been put by the international community. Even if I'm a third party investor, I ask questions first before I come into the country to say why is this you know, country on sanctions. So the fact that it's on sanctions increases the country risk perception. And that's one thing you know, the Americans and the EU totally co continue to ignore. Zimbabweans say they're suffering yet another economic crisis, this one the worst in a decade. There is high unemployment, soaring inflation and shortages of fuel, cash and medicines. The main opposition movement for Democratic Change Party says the government is using sanctions as an excuse to avoid taking responsibility. It is what this government has done to the innocent citizens of this country that has invited the, country, the sanctions. So we must first deal with the internal problems, the internal sanctions, the proscription of democratic rights, the made of innocent citizens, the abduction of innocent citizens, and then the external sanctions will go away. The EU and US say sanctions will only be fully removed when political and economic reforms are implemented and the rule of law is respected. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Harare.